co-director of ETFE and ETFE stands for Ebonyu Transformation Farm Enterprise. And I am Dr. Nicholas James, also co-director of ETFE and a teacher of geography, agriculture and environmental politics. What this film aims is to show the understanding of agroecology that we are putting into practice in Uganda. I grew up in Kalaki, where ETFE is based. I attended my early schooling in the same area. And later I went for higher education in Kampala, which is the capital city of Uganda. I then worked with two NGOs specializing in education, development, agriculture, and gender equality, and children focus ones too. However, my recent passion for farming began in 2016. From my small savings, I started ETFE in 2017. To start with, I bought four female piglets. I grew up using traditional and sustainable practice. Working with Nick enabled me to adopt agroecology principles, which we are practicing to good effect. Agroecology is a sustainable approach to farming which combines traditional and more modern methods. Agroecology is a combination of science, practice and movement. The science is concerned with many things including ecology, soil fertility, combination cropping, natural pesticides and so on. The practice is about learning to integrate each area of farming. For example, water harvesting from the piggery can be used to water the garden seedlings or water for the pig's wallowing area. Beehives placed in the mango trees and orange orchard. Different trees like ejumula and moringa for framing the climbing passion fruit plants. As a movement, agroecology is aiming to engage and inspire all people from the, a local community and beyond in sustainable principles, but also in in areas of food sovereignty, which refer to people keeping hold of their land for valid and successful livelihoods rather than handing over resources too easily to external bodies and corporations. Are you looking for that rare opportunity to experience rural life in Africa as well as participate in agroecological practice? Do you have research ambitions in rural African livelihoods? Are you interested in learning about Uganda, village life, culture, local ways, and so on? In fitting skillfully with agroecology as science, practice, and social movement. Live for Soil, Soil to Live is one of the program that ETFE is offering this opportunity for visitors from the research community to see for themselves active integrated farming operations. Are you interested to support agroecology? So as a director of ETFE, you are very, very much welcome as a visitor, a researcher, a farmer, or even to help out as a volunteer. There are many ways and areas that you can help with. For example, building, farming, livestock work, beehive handling and weeding, also watering and so on. There will be full levels of hosting with great food from the local area, grown by local farmers. Entertainment will also include local music, storytelling, and sightseeing. So, you are very much welcome and thank you.
In July um, 2018, when we launched Phase 1 Report and Executive Summary, it was decided that we should operate principally as a farm enterprise and avoid the status of NGO or charity. To compromise, we formed an enterprise with social impact, very similar to a community interest company in the UK. ETFE registered as a business late in 2018. The land at Omajonga is going to, through the process of land registry. There's a slight delay because there's a possibility of some extra land there. In the meantime, while the farming is developing as good practice in both localities, good contact has been established with several universities, including the University of West of England, the Open University, University of East Anglia, the Centre for Agroecology, Water and Resilience at Coventry University and the CCRI at University of Gloucestershire. Added to this, <coughs> ETFE set up a crowdfunding effort early in 2019 and by March we were able to achieve the goal of £5,000 which goes a small part towards the setup and building work at, in Omajonga which is there to receive visitors, researchers and so on. ETFE slogan is Feeding the Future Through Local Livelihoods. Because we aim to work with local people to improve their livelihood through a variety of food produced for consumers locally but also regional and national with lower dependency on external inputs. Finally, I want to end by explaining reasons why we made addition to operate ETFA or a Bony Transformation Farm Enterprise in line with agroecological principles. First and foremost, we believe scaling up of agroecology is the only way forward to address issues like climate change, for example. Agroecology will also enable us to achieve the goal of working with nature and some of you in sustainable goals like goal number one, no poverty. Goal number two, zero hunger. Thirteenth goal, climate action. Fifteenth goal, life on land, special one that really inspired us to start life with soil, soil to live. And seventeenth goal, partnerships for the goals. So you are welcome once again to partner with us through life with soil, soil to live. And by the way, agroecology is also fun, simplicity, and creativity. So please visit our social media platforms if you're interested to know more about us. Thank you for watching, and we hope you will be able to visit ETFE's agroecology enterprise called Live for Soil, Soil to Live. We are easily contactable via the website, email, Facebook, page, Twitter account, and an Instagram account as well. My telephone number is Dr. Nicholas James, plus 44 796 984 6206, or Miss Genevieve Asomo, plus 256 781 487 457.
Both numbers are registered on WhatsApp, which is most effective for quick and effective communication. Thank you very much. Thank <music> you.